the fact that Ostia just has a volcano cave just hanging out is so funny to me. Like, don't you think you should maybe have covered this place up? I don't know, put like some plywood in front of the entrance? Eh, oh well. Rutger, slap this man's balls. There is no meme. This is just a threat. Welcome back to Fire Emblem 6. Randomized, even. Last time, we got through Legantz. This time... Uh, I, things aren't going to be the greatest. But they're also not exactly going to be the worst. Ow. Um, this map is a little... This map is weird. Because functionally it's very similar to chap like the last one and that it's a long hallway. But you can actually circumvent it by just going across the valley with a flyer. Wyverns can land on solid magma, for those unaware. Alright, so... Let's start this off by you going right there. Lolina will sing you the song of her people. And then you will move up here to protect Noah. And you will move over here to protect Noah. And then I have these chuckle bastards to worry about. Um, I think it's actually pretty fine to just leave Marcus there. Just let him handle things. You know, I wonder, is the Magma's Tiles damage randomized? That'd be pretty funny to think about. Um, also, the enemies here are, a lot of them are weirdly underleveled. Like, it just feels like the levels overall are just lower from last map, with the exception of the boss himself. I don't know why that is. It's definitely spooky, but... You know, we, we'll live. I think. Solid chance we can live. I hope. The barrier staff is going to start doing a lot of heavy lifting. I also just realized I never got a torch staff. So next map is going to be slightly obnoxious. Well, without further ado, let's just see how this goes. Oh yeah, you, you don't, I don't want to go too far forward with you. Alright, so let's do it like this. Alan, no, OJ, you move one forward and arm yourself with that. Alright, that's good. Then you have some fire tomes. Let's let Noah meet and greet that. And then this mage can be Marcus. Roy can move up. You can um, heal up Noah. Get a level up of your own. More speed and luck. So Lot's never, never going to have good offense. But he's just going to be built different. He's never going to die. I'm fine with that. Ow. Okay, OJ is gonna need a bit more love to get that kill. Yeah, but we'll be fine. Haha, <laughs> get bent. <sighs> Thank God the only one that actually goes after you is that soldier. Like, I'm imagining if everything on the east side was coming down at me. I might get a little spooked. Not like too much, but definitely a little. Okay. Now let's just... Hmm. Level 13, level 10. Yeah, let's just have Roy deal with this. 
And he's not going to get too much experience, because everything around here is, like, low level. Or at least everything at the start. Like, there's very few things up as high as the levels you'll have at this point. Again, except for OJ. OJ is a little underleveled, and that's fine. Um, actually, this evens out perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah, and then that's seven. That's as much as OJ needs to do. Perfect. Awesome. Is that going to be enough for a level up? It is! Alright, cool. What do you got for us, OJ? His very first point of resistance. I mean, okay. Oh, and Slim Lances have the Reaver effect, so I can just... Yeah. Bop. Get bent. Followed by Bop. Excellent. Everything's going according to Keikaku. And Keikaku means plan. I guess attack with you, because that means I can start going towards the, um, the Brave Bow. Alright. And now... We're schmoovin' everyone to the west. Single, well, not really single file, as there were three tiles, but... Everyone move over this way. I have a plan. A very good plan. Plans within plans. Because what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to have Alan and OJ... Ferry everyone over here, which will just plot me off ready to fight the boss, since the experience from this map really isn't the most necessary. So if I put someone right here, or really anywhere, I can just, as long as I don't anger this killer axe guy, I can just plop Shauna down right here, and she can go to work. So... Let's get ready to do that. That soldier might get to us eventually. But, um... I don't really care. If he does, I'll deal with him when the time comes. Or even funnier. That soldier is going to get all the way to the bottom left, just in time for everyone else to be ferried across. That's the funniest outcome, I'll say. Roy... Marky Mark. Alright. Look at all of that map I'm just not gonna give a damn about. Oh, God is good. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure I, just make sure I do not piss off the killer axe. That is all I need to do. Mm-hmm. Play... Lot. Uh, make sure that she has that equipped. Perfect. And then, I guess, rescue you. And then everyone else can await extraction. Dumbass just stepped on the fire tile. But he's safe for now. Alright, you have Shauna... So drop you right there. Uh-huh. Just gotta make sure that's right. Yep. And then I can drop Roy right here. Excellent. Shauna, darling, murder them all. Oh, he had an armor slayer. Huh. Probably should have checked his weapon. But, um... Your Honor, I plead oopsie-daisy. I really need to get into the habit of checking weapons. Dance Lance, Killing Edge... Oh, son of a whore. And with the way that their movement has linked up. Eight, six, anywhere he can attack... Except for up here. Yeah, I need to get something... Yeah, up to this corner right here. 
which is actually completely possible. I just need to use OJ. So, let's rescue you, I guess? Perfect. Play. Um, and then just gotta make sure here. Uh, gotta make sure. Yes, okay. Right here. Drop. Wait. Um, Clarine can intercept that soldier, and I'll have Marcus around just in case. Yeah, okay. We're Gucci. Never before has a man been so back after being so over. Alright. So to get this guy the hell out of here... Oh, shoot. Is OJ gonna be fine with you? Brave Sword, attack of 18... But OJ's defense is 13, so he should be fine on that. Mm-hmm, perfect. Um, following this, you just go up. Perfect. Excellent work, Miss Clarine. Then I'm probably going to want my dancer over here. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Rescue. Take. Take. Drop. And then that will be ready with that. Okay, perfect. Now we just hit the end turn button. Oh! They don't move? I'm not entirely sure how much I trust the concept of them not moving. But I mean... The proof very much seems to be in the pudding. Um... The only one that's gonna move is that one. I mean, if I do this... Yeah, no. Okay. Um... Let's move OJ to right here? And then hit the end turn button? Okay, that one moves. Yeah, I don't particularly care that that one moves. Okay, I guess. I guess those guys just don't feel like moving. Okay, well, that one doesn't want to move. This one might, and that one, the real threat, still might. So let's just continue to damage him. Oh, shoot, don't you have a Physic and a Fortify? Are you programmed to use that correctly? Let's... Let's see what that's all about. Alright, what is your damage? 18... Oh, wait, 18. Yeah, hold on. You don't actually... Is anyone around here a Vulnerary? You do. Perfect. So let's just move you to right here. Trade. Take it. Let's also... I mean, if I equip that, you do even less damage. But I'm actually completely fine with the damage that you do. And then what we'll do next... Is all that matters is if that guy moves. I don't give a damn about the armor knight. So actually, yeah, let's do this. Then put you right there. And then let's get Marcus ready for deployment. So the jury is still out on if the boss is actually programmed to use his healing staves. Given that, um, that dude attacked before him. Alright, so I was afraid of nothing. Those three just do not move. None of those guys move. I'm still really scared of trying. But I think I feel safe enough. I mean, I do want... Let's give Shauna a kill. I've got to run into a Knight's Crest eventually, right? 
Like, I just got him. Law of averages has to dictate a Knight's Crest eventually. <gasps> you did it, sir. I did it. He did it. She did it. Absolutely incredible. I... Mountains removed. She is the moment. Oh my god. Alright, well, even though I seem to have concrete proof that they don't move, I'm still a scary cat. Alright, well, the one that I need next is, um, Rutger. Rutger and Lot both need to be over here. So, naturally, I move them out of the way of being helpful. Alright, so those guys really just do not move. Fine by me. Uh, give. Then you will just keep doing this. Level up for OJ. What do you got? Another point of resistance. Hell can freeze over for everyone. No, 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 nah, no, no, thank you. Not doing that. Um, and then let's just put you right there and hit the end turn button. Yeah, those things are a lot less scary when they just decide not to try and hurt me. Works for me. Um, OJ, are you now able... No, not yet. All right. One more javelin toss. Then we'll just hit the end turn button. <laughs> it looks like... It looks like he's talking to his own man. That's funny. It is mildly annoying, though. Alright, let's... Yeah! Brave bow time! Okay. Now with that, OJ will just... Actually, he doesn't even... He can do way better. Perfect. That's... This is the OJ training arc, apparently. Alright. And then we'll move right there. And then we'll play for Alan. Lelina will get a level up that's really not going to matter. Okay. How much does this do, like, if we just go with this? Alright, I might need to do some more save state rigging. But... You know... It's not as bad as Legance. Legance, that one was, uh... Sword Reavers have a lot of crit. That's going to be very interesting moving forward. Fucking come on, really? Alright, so, step one. Give this boy some resistance. Step number two. I guess he could still die if he gets hit by, um... It has to be two crits in a row. And if that happens, he just wants it more. Okay. Um... Let's move you up to right there. And then, um, get you... Ready to help. Alright. 13 skill. Yeah, okay. So Roy technically has a very minutely better chance to do something. Ooh! Alright. So as it stands, if that happens again, he dies. Do I... 
I don't want to keep save abusing. I actually might not have to. You know, like, all things considered, my odds of killing him aren't terrible. Alright, you know what? Let's at least give it the old college try. Actually, wait a minute. Wait, Marcus can just safely kill him. If I barrier Marcus and then heal him, the boss is just going to keep attacking him. Yeah, let's... I don't want to use save stating unless absolutely po like impossible like Legance was. So, we'll let Marcus have the kill. Who knows, he might even do something cool with it. Just gonna have to hit the space bar to... Yep, alright. Um... You sadly can't use the Brave Bow. Would you have a better hit chance? You would, actually. Or, no, wait, would you? 8 skill versus 11. No, you'd have a better hit chance. Alright. Eat shit and die, Henning. Get out of my town. Marcus, another level up for you. What do we got? Alright. Sure. Alright, now before we end the map, I don't want to leave OJ at 98 experience. So, let's have him move down to right there. Let's play the song of my people. Yeah, all he needs to do is not miss any levels up. That too. He, he could do that too. Alright, so you're not growing phenomenally, OJ, I gotta admit. And this can just be for weapon level. The sooner Noah can get to a B rank, the better. We did it! We won! This is the Durundal. Actually, you're wrong. It's... Oh, the Durundal. Okay. They might keep the holy weapons as what they're supposed to be in the randomizer... Just because the game would be unwinnable without it. Is Cecilia a warrior? No. Percival is. So Percival's a warrior. Cecilia's a swordsmaster. That is interesting. Unfortunately, with this map, I don't really have a way of knowing where anything is. Alright, so I have to bring Sue, and Noah I already have. So those are fine. The rest of us I'm pretty sure are just fine. I'm looking around, yeah, I'll say that I'm fine. Are you kidding me? From the word go. Alright, well. I mean, oh, that one's the problem. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Alright, well. Let's also put you over there, and I guess you down there. But actually, I want Barth down there, so you can go down here and... Well, let's just, uh... Let's just see how this goes. Um, how long have I been recording for? Oh, not long at all. We went through that chapter pretty quickly. Okay, Noah is a G. Thank God. Um, now, what, what do about this one? Oh, I should have given Alan another... Mm. Well, oh god, all of that defense. You know, I just realized I didn't bring any of my magic users with me. That might actually be a problem, I'm not entirely sure. But, you know, I just completely forgot about the concept of magic. 
I really should have brought Dick with me, though. Alright, well... God, how many Wyvern Riders are just gonna come out of the fog and absolutely murder me? You know, I probably should have at least given Sue a sword. That, that, that's a little rude of me, not gonna lie. But, I mean, okay. Uh, that's not okay. Oh, God, we're starting to get weapons that are really randomized in unfortunate ways. Okay, that's not too bad. That's bad. Ow. <sighs> really? Wyvern Riders from the Fog? Well, okay. And they have seven move. And that one's got that Brave Steel Lance. Oh, la-dee-da. Well, Noah can just outright kill. I've got that going for me, at least. If the game's gonna throw Wyvern Riders at me, at least I have a very fast, very powerful bow unit. Take your victories where you can get them. Let's see, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, this is actually completely manageable. If I put Shauna in the way, because with her 16 defense, yeah, he can double, he can even quadruple. I don't care. I will survive. However, I would like to survive and get a guiding ring. You know? Um, maybe even... A Wu Deo already. Oh, I gotta get uh, Noah out of there. That's easy enough. Yep. Uh, probably shouldn't have done that in that way, but eh, who cares. And then I can move Barth right here. Yep. This gonna be a bit of a sticky situation, I do declare. Oh god, that doesn't even count what the boss is. And there's also Shin. Alright. Ooh, wow, get bent. Okay, well, you know, you win some, you lose some. Yeah, no, Shauna's getting quadrupled with the all-of-one attack speed that she has. But, you know... All right, what do you got? Devil Axe, Slim Swords, and a Killer Bow. Oh, goody. Well. Damn it, one strength away. All right, in that case, we gotta use the Rooker. Get him out of here. Someone mentioned in the comments a while ago that the Devil Axe might not actually have its recoil effect. Because, you know, it's the randomizer. And, um, I don't want to live in that timeline, so I'm going to pretend that it still has it at all times, no matter what. You know, honest to God, I've seen worse. I, I've seen worse things actually manage to hit. Marcus, you start this off. All right. And now Barth should do it. Excellent. Alright, where can you... Alright. Let's have Shauna come up and attack you. Now, all that needs to happen is someone needs to be able to reach that guy. Nope, nope, no, -uh, not, not doing that one. This, um... Hang on, let me just... That's eight damage. How much do you do? Six, seven, that's not enough. Crap. Hang on, let me, um... 
Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just, um... This should be able to do it. Yeah, because Roy's going to dodge that one. Perfect. And then with only 4 HP, that means OJ's chances of killing are now basically perfect. Yes. There we go. The Wyvern Riders from the Fog, incredibly terrifying concept. But, with the proper skill, and absolute dumb luck, anything is possible. How much HP do you have? Six? Let's get Roy in there. And then after getting Roy in there... Excellent. I guess I should have led with Chad to see what's ahead... But I don't really have any plays other than what I did, so yeah. Alright, and then as for you... God, the fact that the Wyvern Riders can literally come from anywhere. Is that all of them? Alright, that appears to be all of them. But let me move Chad a little farther forward... Alright, what's your damage? 17? Oh, and 15 speed. That's... Ooh, Myrmidons are going to be very scary. But, you know, let's hang on a bit. 17? Alright, let's just... Shauna would be able to handle that guy no problem. He just had to spawn in with the Armor Slayer. Would have been fine if he had any other weapon in the game. But no, you gotta have an armor slayer. Because there is no god. Alright. Um. Let's move you over to here. Get Noah and Sue, like, in position. And Barth, because I like him. Alright. Yeah, like, OJ's going to get doubled. But he's a big boy. And big boys do big boy damage. Oh no, bro! Oh, hey, we're fine, actually. Except for the fact that Alan needs more javelins. But, you know, I can live with that. Let's see, level 9, level 12, yeah, just... Sticking with what I know works. And a level up. What are you now? Level 10. Okay, more skill is nice. OJ's level ups really have not been all that impressive. Which is really sad, but you know. Speed of 11, speed of 10. Alright, now I can move Shauna forward. And the first one that shows up is Fur, and then Sue. Sue, Shin. So I need to make sure that um, Noah is in position to recruit Fur. Oh no. Oh no! How bad is that? How bad is that? How bad? How, how bad? How bad is that? It's not bad at all. It's never been bad in my life. Oh god, why would you why would you do this to your strongest soldiers? Also, where the hell is Fur? She's definitely normally here by now. Oh, and of course I'm not actually capable of Well, hold on, Noah can get that kill. Yeah, Noah can finish off the brigand. Um, so attack with yeah, just with your Iron Sword, I see no reason to stop now. God, eight move brigands and pirates from the fog should have really been what I was more worried about. You know, in hindsight. That magical 2020 vision. Alright. Getting the kill here with Noah. 
We'll give him the level. Okay, yeah, it's kind of hard to not level up when you're at 96 XP. Alright, well... That's fine, I guess. And now, Barth. Yeah, Barth. Alright, well, actually... Let me move Chad right here. Alright, you're gonna get attacked by a... Okay, you don't care about that. So, Fur became a Nomad. Which is really funny for her. Given that her and her mother's character, I mentioned this a while ago, is about how it's weird that they're women of Sake. Sake? I don't know how it's pronounced. And yet they use the sword instead of the bow. And yet here Fur is using the bow. Alright, well. I mean, her stats look fine. But, do I really need another Nomad? <laughs> like, come on. Um, who was injured? Shauna. Shauna was the one who was critically injured. So let's heal her. And... Alright, let's end the episode once we get fur. And then after that... Well, who knows? We could do all kinds of things. Like, getting Sin. And, um... Getting Sin. God, that randomization is so neat. Alright. Noah, go chat up your lady. Um, let's just real quick... I can easily rescue out of danger if danger is coming. But there is some danger. I need to put some kind of lance in the way. There's a lance in the way. Hold on. Alright, let's just see first color palette. She looks really nice. Yeah, that looks really nice. Alright, but like, what the hell am I supposed to do about the everything moving forward? Like, you're a problem that I think I can pretty easily rectify. Yeah, I just need to put like... Um... Hmm. Can I? Oh, that's a killer axe, dude. Um, actually, is... What is your speed? 12, con minus 9, 4, it's 8, and go to you. Actually, no, I don't give a shit about him. Alright, come back next episode where hopefully I'm still alive. The jury is very much out on, uh, what's gonna happen next. Four nomads. I've gotten four nomads. That is insane. Why why is God given me his strongest nomads? I, I don't even like archers very much. I mean I guess I would rather him give me nomads than um archers. I don't have a single archer yet. Like, honest to God, I have not gotten a single archer this entire run. I haven't gotten an archer, I haven't gotten a fighter. I think those are the only two classes I haven't gotten any of. No fighters, no archers. But you know, four nomads. Woo!